Alright guys, today we're feeling much better and today it's going to be an exciting and happy vlog. The happiest of vlogs. Happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for such the sad vlog. It was a sad day. But today we took our uh, St. John's wart yeah. and we will be happy. You know what's crazy though? I So we went to the store and I, for whatever reason I am crazy and I'm just like, oh, I'm going to try these herbal medicines. And so I read about uh, making yourself have a positive mood through um, herbal uh, supplements and it was St. John's wort and then like a relaxation one was valerian root and they really worked but do you guys think it's mind over matter like am I just is it all in my head or do you think it really works like have you guys used it yeah or is it a placebo well, no, it's not a... I mean, no, I wanted you to do your impression of placebo. No. <laughs> that was my favorite, that one time that you did that. What did I do? Was that not even placebo? A friend in needs, a friend in needs. Yeah, and they always sound like that. They sound like this. A friend with weed is better. Yeah, I'm going to buy you that because it looks like a mop. That way it, it'll be pr so like thinking about cleaning while you're driving. Cleaning. I'm practicing my cleaning while I'm driving. Although it may be the loudest place in the world, we're out at Jack's. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful place to eat. So there's this giant party over here to our was a high left, Jen's right. And they have a little girl with them. And she's just like roaming around the restaurant, which you know, I'm totally fine with. That's no big deal to me. But her shoes are like flashing shoes. And I don't know why. You guys over across the sea don't have this stuff, but we here in America have to have flashy shoes. I think they have them over there. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah. We've maybe. had them, no, no, no. We've had them for like 10 years, so you guys have to have them by now. Yeah, no, I think that they realize how annoying they are. Oh, you banned them. Yeah. You banned them. And, they're, and this, these shoes are just like so bright and flashy. Like, she's like, she's like stomping as she walks past us. And it's like, That's like seizure in this Oh my God, do I try? That you get salvation. She does, she does. I ordered something that wasn't on the menu and like look at this bun is way bigger than it needs to be It like it's like this is the size of my head it's, And look at I know there's like nothing inside of it. I just, what do you do? Oh, you're gonna put it on your head. Oh wow look at that It's the size of Jen's face We call her old bun face McGee of like all the stuff on the table look at the size of my dad's like wrap Look at the size of my sandwich. Look at this Jen's little tiny, little tiny sandwich. You gonna, you gonna go write an album? You gonna go write an album? You gonna listen to, you gonna listen to Death Cab for Cutie? Yeah. Am I the only one in the world that really hates when you go into a bathroom and you go to use the soap and they like, it's one of those soap dispensers that already turns the soap into foam for you. Like I don't want the soap to be foam already. I want it to be soap so I can turn it into foam. It works better that way. We, we stopped this little crepe restaurant to have some lunch. We were sitting out on a, on a patio outside and after after we ate, the waiter didn't speak real good English but he, he pretended to speak good English. He knew some phrases so he said something. So after we were done eating I asked him where the bathroom was. He says he said something but it didn't make sense. I said, oh it's, is it out back? Because usually it's in the back of the restaurant. Okay. So he says, yeah out back. So I walked into the restaurant and it was right outside going into this dark restaurant. I expected it to be straight back. So I walked straight back and there was some other waitresses in there. I says, bathroom. And she says, oh, it's over there. And they just, you know, they just waved their hand like, you know where to go. So I walked in that direction, but I didn't realize there were steps there. And I tripped up the steps because it was so dark. And at the top of the steps were these tables all set up with dishes and glasses, wine glasses and everything. <laughs> and I knocked the chairs over and dishes were flying, glasses over was flying everywhere. I, I may have even broken some chairs, I don't know, because it was, you know, falling up three stairs. I was grabbing whatever I could so I wouldn't fall down. And the, then as the owner, the, the woman who owns the place come over and I was asking her where the bathroom was. And She's waved her arms too. It's over there, and I looked over. There's nothing over there. So she finally grabbed me by the arm and dragged me outside, 
outside, outside. Oh, no. <laughs> Pushed you out the door. That's <laughs> how you got kicked out of the restaurant? That's how I got kicked out of the restaurant. Oh, my gosh. And that's what I call a story with my dad in Monaco. <laughs> Where's Monaco? Italy? No, it's, uh, he just told it's a, us. It's an actual country, isn't it's it? It's an actual country. That's um, not worldly at all. It's actually in Italy. It's like, but it's right on the border of France. Like, like Rome is it's not Prince part of Italia. Italy. Yeah, Rome is Prince Talia. Yeah, Rome it's like part between Italy, France and Italy. Vatican City is not part of Italy. <laughs> oh, Vatican City. That's what I was talking it's about. It's like the District of Columbia. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The, the, that's part of the United States. Who's the Pope of the District of Columbia? <laughs> huh? I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.